Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to talk about a fraction. Fraction is one or more parts of a whole or a set of objects. For example, x over y. So it means we divide an object into the y and the part is x. So x is the numerator and y is the denominator. So yung y, ito yung ilang beses kong hinapon isang object. Now we have different kinds of fractions. Proper fractions, improper fractions, and mixed numbers. Proper fractions like 1 ninth, 2 fifth, 3 seventh, 1 third, 3 tenths, and 2 elevenths. These are fractions with numerators less than the denominator. So, nakikita nyo po dito, mas maliit yung numerator kesa denominator. Then, we have improper fractions. Examples, 9 halves, 5 thirds, 7 thirds, 7 fifths, 10 thirds, 11 halves are fractions with numerators greater than the denominator. So, makikita nyo po, mas malaki yung nasa itaas. So, mas malaki yung numerator. And also, we have mixed numbers like 1 and 9 twelves, 2 and 7 ninths, 2 and 7 ninths, maulit lang, 6 and 1 halves. These are Fractions with whole number and proper fraction. So, merong whole number, yung one dito sa gilid, then proper na po yung kasama niya. Then, mixed number can change to improper fraction. So, these are the steps. First, multiply the whole number and the denominator. Add the numerator to the product. The answer will be the denominator of the improper fraction. I'm sorry, ito po yung, yung asagot ay magiging numerator and copy the denominator. For example, 1 and 9 over 12. So, ang gagawin natin, multiply 1 times 12 equals 12. Then add 12 plus 9 equals 21. Then, yung sagot na 21, yan na yung numerator. Then, copy the denominator. Ganun lang po. 21 over 12. Another one. 1 and 1 half. So, multiply. 1 times 2 equals 2. Then, add to the numerator. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So, copy the denominator 2. So, the improper is 3 halves. Another one, 3 and 1 fifth, so multiply, 3 times 5 equals 15, 15 plus 1 equals 16, so the improper is 16 fifth. Another one, 3 and 2 seventh, multiply, 3 times 7 equals 21, 21 plus 2 equals 23, so the answer is 23 seventh. Another one, 1 and 4 fifth, multiply, 1 times 5 equals 5, then add 5 plus 4 equals 9. So the answer is 9 fifth. Another one, 4 and 1 fifth, multiply, 4 times 5 equals 20, 20 plus 1 equals 21. So the answer is 21 over 5, or 21 fifth. Another one, 5 and 2 thirds, multiply, 5 times 3 equals 15, 15 plus 2 equals 17. So the answer is 17 thirds. Also, we can change from improper fraction to mixed number. First, divide the numerator with the denominator. The whole number in your quotient is the whole number in your fraction. The remainder 
and the divisor is your proper fraction. For example, 17 halves, so divide. 17 divided by 2 equals 8, remainder 1. 8 is the whole number, 1 is the numerator, and copy the denominator 2. So the mixed number is 8 and 1 halves. Another one. 7 halves, divide. 7 divided by 2 equals 3, remainder 1. 3 is the whole number, 1 is the numerator, and copy the denominator 2. So the mixed number is 3 and 1 halves. 15 fourths, divide. 15 divided by 4 equals 3, remainder 3. 3 is the whole number, 3 numerator, and 4 the denominator. So the next number is 3 and 3 fourths. 35 fourths, divide. 35 divided by 4 equals 8, remainder 3. 8 is the whole number, 3 the numerator, 4 the denominator. So 8 and 3 fourths. 21 fifths, 21 divided by 5 equals 4, remainder 1, 4 the whole number. 1 the numerator and copy the denominator 5. So the mixed number is 4 and 1 fifth. 16 fifths divide. 16 divided by 5 equals 3 remainder 1. 3 is the whole number. 1 the numerator and copy the denominator 5. The mixed number is 3 and 1 fifth. Also, we can change the fraction to lowest term. Kapag merong common factor sa numerator at sa denominator. Okay. First, get the GCF. GCF, the greatest common factor. Divide the numerator and the denominator with the greatest common factor. For example, 2 fourths. 2 fourths, that is divided, divisible by 2. So the GCF is 2. So 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So the lowest term of 2 fourths is 1 half. 6 eighteenths. 6 eighteenths is divisible by 2, 3, and 6. So the GCF is 6. So divide. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. So, 1 third. Another one, 5 over 30. So, the GCF is 5. So, pareso lang pwede ma-divide sa 5. So, divide. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 30 divided by 5 equals 6. So, the answer is 1, 6. 8 thirtieths. Divisible by 2. So 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 30 divided by 2 equals 15. So the answer is 4, 15. 16 over 36. So the GCF is 4. So 16 divided by 4 equals 4. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. So the answer is 2, 9. 6 over 16. So, ang common factor nila ay 2. So, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So, the answer is 3, 8. 9 over 21. So, that is divisible by 3. So, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. So the answer is 3, 7. Also, we have similar fractions and dissimilar fractions. Paano po malalaman na similar? Paano malalaman pa dissimilar? By looking at the denominator. Kapag similar fractions have the same denominator. Like 2 fifths, 1 fifth, 4 fifths, 6 fifths. 3 fifths, 8 fifths, 7 fifths. Makikita nyo po, lahat sila pare-parehas ng denominator. Denominator ay yung number na nasa baba. So, yan po yung similar. Dissimilar naman, 
have different denominator like 2, 6, 1, 9, 4, 12, 1, 6, 3, 6, 1, 7, 7, 3. So, makikita nyo po sila ay magkakaiba ng denominator o magkakaiba ng number na nasa ibaba. So, that's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Thank you!